It's my pleasure and my honor working uh, with Porsiculture for the last 20 years. Porcicultura.com celebró 20 años de trabajo conjunto con Jim Long, quien por medio de su comentario porcino ha influenciado la toma de decisiones en este sector a nivel internacional. En entrevista exclusiva con el fundador de la firma de genética Genesis, abordamos junto con su perspectiva cuál es la visión de la porcicultura en un corto y mediano plazo. If you look at a global perspective, Uh, every, every, everywhere in the world is being challenged by high feed prices. That's impacting profitability and shaking people's confidence about the future. Explicó que una de las mayores coyunturas que enfrenta este sector es el alza de los costos de los insumos, como los granos que componen el alimento balanceado. Since the reality of pig production, you need feed. Grains are about the highest price they're going to get. I believe there's going to be less livestock and poultry production in the world, which will cut demand, which should probably dampen feed and grain prices. Respecto al caso mexicano, el especialista aseguró que es una industria que se ha mantenido actualizada de acuerdo con las tendencias globales, convirtiéndose en una importante participante de la porcicultura internacional. You know, in Mexico, I look at it, there's a country, it's like, but you have countries within countries. It's like three different, like different countries. So you have different factors there. The Sinaloa, Sonora people are really geared on ex, like exports, which, you know, Jalisco, Guanajuato, not so much. The industry has really evolved since the first time I came here. There's been lots of consolidation, a lot of larger farms now versus 20 years ago. The industry has consolidated in many places. The industry has become more specialized. Jim Long destacó que uno de los alicientes para el desarrollo de este segmento productivo son los avances en mejoramiento genético, que ha resultado en un aumento de la capacidad reproductiva de las hembras y mayor calidad de la carne. On the genetic side, uh, we've seen a lot of consolidation in genetics around the world. Specialization with genomics, scale, uh, the, the, the ability to have capacity of high production levels, like as far as capacity to produce pigs. Uh, all these things have been put pressure on the economics of genetics. Genetics is technology. Either you get better or you die. Derivado de sus conocimientos y experiencia en genética porcina y en el sector como un todo, Jim Long comentó que esta actividad tiene un futuro brillante. Sin embargo, no está exenta de los desafíos que se pueden presentar en un mercado globalizado. As producers, we're all being challenged by the economics of today, and we wonder about the future. When I look at things globally, and we're all affected globally. Pork moves around, we're all influenced by it. Mexico price is affected by the US price. Finalmente, el directivo canadiense envió un mensaje a los lectores de su comentario, que semana a semana han compartido con él por más de dos décadas. Lastly, I'd like to thank all the people in Mexico who have read my commentary for the last 20 years. It's been an honor to be able to participate with Porticulture.com and It's been really nice here at the event, the Congress, speaking to so many of the readers who have acknowledged that they've got value from what I wrote, and that's the best thing I could ever have. Thank you.